I bought this speaker on eBay, and then after buying it, I found out I paid like $59 for it. Other sellers are asking about $70, $80 for it. Some of those are in the 60s. But you can go to Walmart.com and get the same thing for $49.99. And it actually shipped from Walmart. Now, I think they actually upgraded this uh, speaker. It's the same model number for the iRock XS3000, but now it has a light-up woofer, comes with a remote control, still says it has the same power rating, but some things in the box are just not right. Let me try to come over here to the side. Look there, it supports USB, TF, Bluetooth. It says FM radio. Of course, when I tried the FM radio, I live in a, in a valley. I really couldn't get any. Uh, what I got was too, uh, too staticky to even listen to. Item supposed to weigh 22.6 pounds. See what box diameter it says 16.7 by 13.8 by 26.5. I'm trying to figure out how this has a 15 inch woofer in it when the one diameter that must be the depth. I'm guessing. Let me spin this around again. Look up there, multifunction loudspeaker with remote control. Other languages there. With says with 1500 watts of power sound, or powerful sound, it's a perfect speaker for parties, sporting events, bars, and restaurants. And there's a pit, like a view of the back of it, and what the front looks. Oh, there's a little labor here with my shipping information on it, so I'm going to peel off the label as much as I can. I don't want you guys to see my address. Well, that'll cover up my address. If you look there, it says it has Bluetooth available with 100 feet FM radio, USB input slash SD input, and then it says RCA input. Well, whenever I pull this thing out, you're gonna. If I take a look, if you take a look at it, it does not have RCA inputs on it. The original one did, and what I bought on eBay actually showed that it had the RCA inputs, but this does not have it. Well, I'm gonna stop the video real quick while I pull this out, so I can actually show you what the speaker looks like. Okay, here is the speaker. You can see now it says iRock in the middle of it, unlike the eBay state. And the speaker is really reflective. It has four screws holding the grill in. The tweeter look has totally changed. You can see the vents up here in the front for the woofer. It actually has a pull mount on the bottom. As you can see here, here is the back controls. And if you look, we have a quarter in for a microphone. And there's a one-eighth input for audio input. And if you look here, we have an external DC input, which looks like an old speaker terminal. But it's actually DC input for 12 volts. And then we have... AC input, and if you look, there are no RCA inputs that the box says it has. The eBay listing shows it has it as well, but it doesn't. To give you a side view, too. And then on the bottom, we have our pull mount location. I'm gonna plug this in and I'll be right back. Record how annoying this is. 
whenever you change the modes and stuff. Watch. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Now that's connected to my cell phone for the Bluetooth. Ready mode. So now it says ready mode or radio <laughs> mode. And we go back. Line mode. Line mode. The Bluetooth, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. If you look there, I got the volume cranked up as loud as it goes. Got the bass maxed out and the treble up somewhat high. I'm going to turn on the LED light. With that switch right there. Now we're going to turn it around so you can actually see how the woofer actually changes colors. There's one LED light that's underneath this front grill right here that actually reflects on that reflective cone that's silver and it makes it light up. Now I'm going to look up some royalty free music real quick online and I will be back so we can actually show you how the speaker sounds. Okay, here's for the sound test. This is a royalty free music. I'm not sure. You can hear it's fairly loud, but it's even though the bass is turned the whole way up, it's really lacking bass. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can actually find a royalty-free bass track to play next, and we'll try to get to see if we can get, pump more bass out of it or not. That was to be a bass track, and personally, I'm not happy with the amount of bass this puts out. It does not give out enough bass. Now, when we look at the build quality of this, if you look up here, there are screw holes right there from the back coming forward, and there's no place for it to screw inside the actual front cover right there on both sides. You can actually see the screw standoffs and no place for them to fasten to. Very poor build quality. I haven't taken a look inside, but the sound quality is not there. The old version of this, people said actually sounded half decent for what it was. This year, I would not recommend buying. I'm actually going to package it up, and it's going to be returned. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Remember to click like and subscribe.